Mission Start. What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the DSTAR01 channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffulis, and today, what I have on my table is the exclusive San Diego Comic-Con 50 International version of the Storm Collectible Street Fighter V Arcade Edition Cami in her battle uniform. Wow, that is a mouthful. <laughs> As you can see, this is the alternate color version. Even on the box, it shows her in the original blue battle outfit. But instead, we get the green one because that is the Comic-Con exclusive. So, enough of us talking. Let's get this girl open. And let's see what's going on. Let's see if this is worth the money. Right now, she is only a Comic-Con exclusive as far as I can tell. It doesn't look like V-Star Toys will not be getting this one, but we will get the original. And she should be going up for pre-order soon on my site. But let's look at this one. Let's see if it's worth it. She has a huge box, as you can see. And she has a lot of cool stuff. So first, we're going to go over paint detail and then articulation and scale and then accessories so first things first let's look at this figure and let's look close here and let's see how she looks and it looks like right out of the right out of the box she comes with her neutral face and this outfit looks absolutely amazing and of course everyone wants to know it. we're just going to look at her butt real quick don't want to focus too much on that because I don't want to get demonetized <laughs> uh, besides that everything else looks really solid and the joints are nice and tight. The green outfit looks really cool. Just like in the Street Fighter V uh, um, character models, their legs are really thick and muscular, as you can see right there. And the scars do look like they're showing. It looks like we get some nice uh, shiny paint here on the legs. Uh, one thing I noticed when it comes to Storm, as you can see her arm fell out, is that the joints usually are not fit in correctly at first. But once you put them in, they should work really well. This is a common thing I've noticed when it comes to Storm. So everyone, give me one second as I try to put this back in, pop this back in. So right out of the box, that arm did come off, but once I popped it back in, everything is good to go. So overall, when it comes to paint and detail, I'd have to say this looks really cool. I definitely love the matte finish on her beautiful blonde hair right there. And uh, I think if there's anything I have to truly say that's negative right off the bat is that this face is just something that I don't really see Cammy having this face. Um, maybe a little bit of a smile, but yeah, it's a little too neutral for me. But then again, that's, that's honestly not really that big of a deal. So now that we've looked at paint and, de paint and detail, she's looking really good. Let's move on to articulation and scale. Now, when it comes to Storm Collectibles, they say they're 112 scale, but truly they are not because they should fit with, um... SH figure arts or any other figures, but for the most part, I've noticed Storm Collectibles usually are much bigger, looking to be maybe one tenth or one eleventh scale. But let's see how tall she's standing, and she's standing at about six and a half. So let's compare her to her counterpart, which is the Cami from the SH figure arts. As you can see, she is much taller, like not even in the same scale, even though they both claim to be one twelfth scale. So as you can see there. Uh, we have a Soda Toys <laughs> Balrog. Uh, that's really funny. Um, I really, this is a really old toy, as you can see. And she does scale really well with there. And we have a Soda Toys Sagat, which also he is much bigger. Of course, everyone's favorite. We have the Ben Riley Spider Man from Marvel Legends. As you can see, she. She is taller than Spider-Man there. She should be about the same height, if not a little bit smaller. So, again, Storm Collectibles do not scale with most action figures. So, let's go over articulation. We have an up and down here at the toe, which is really tight. We have an up and down here at the ankle, double jointed knee, which looks really cool. So, we can get that solid kick right there. We have ball joint there uh, in the inner thigh. Uh, also, there's one thing that I, I have to tell a lot of people about Storm is that their bodies are usually really soft plastic. And as you can see from her, her midst of her body here, it's really soft. And the reason why it's soft like that or bendy like that is so they can get better articulation points. So just a little FYI there. And uh, should we have two articulation points there at the midsection. And uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Do we have a butterfly joint as I remove her here? Yes, there's a butterfly joint here. We have bicep swivel, double joint elbow, ball and peg there at the arm. 
And we have two at one at the neck, looking to be well above 20 points of articulation, so she, you can get her to do her awesome moves, which pretty much is what we're going to go into in accessories. We get a ton of accessories here, lots of effects, which is one of the reasons why I love Storm Collectibles. Even though there, she's not to scale, even though most Storm Collectibles are not to scale, and I am a stickler for scale, um, I like the fact that they come with so many accessories, it kind of makes up for it, and I kind of put these figures... Uh, not with my other figures. I put them in a case of their own. So let's look at the hair here. We got some flowy hair here. And let's they can easily be replaced. They're very soft and bendy plastic. As you can see here, we can have like the wind hair, wind blown hair right there. That looks really cute. Really nice. Really beautiful. And we have more windswept hair right here. She can go right there. And I really like that look. This looks absolutely majestic, in my opinion. That looks fantastic. Um, we get different heads, too. Let's look at these. And if you're probably wondering why you have this, let me see if I can take my pick out, is because she comes with her um, her classic like little bang coming out of her hair right there. You get three of these, which, to my surprise, is really cool. Uh, I don't know why they don't just give you one, but hey, I'm not really complaining there. You get three, so you can have something that looks like that. Wow. And well, you get three because you can put them on the different heads. You can put them on all of the heads, actually. Uh, also, another thing, her goggles do fit. See, as you can see here on the other extra heads, you can have something like that, which we should be looking into the faces here. So what you have here is her yelling battle face. And you have, yeah, I like this one, the pouty face. This one's really cute. I'm going to pull the head off, and we're going to put the pouty, all, actually, all the faces on. Everyone give me one second, please. So you should be able to pull that off pretty easily. And there she is with her pouty face. I really like this one. You can have the windswept hair, like so. And then put the bang right there. And that looks really, really cute. Mm, definitely like that. Uh, let's see here, and let's see how she looks with the other hairs. Sure, why not? We're going to do this with all of them. This is unboxing. You want to know what they look like. That looks really cute. And here it is with the straight down hair. So that looks really cool. And let's remove this. Let's put the yelling face on. And then we got to get the goggles on. You know what? Let's remove these just, so, just to remove the goggles. I kind of want to see what she looks like without them. I'm going to do it with this face, the yelling face, I like to say. And then let's put uh, the windswept hair. And that's how she looks. Uh, in all honesty, yeah, I actually, I don't really like that from what I can tell. She does need the goggles on, unfortunately. You cannot have her without the goggles because it just doesn't look right. Um, but when you, put the, when you put the goggles on and you put the little... Bang right here. Everyone give me one sec again. It just looks more correct, uh, from my opinion. From my view. And let's take the windswept hair. We're gonna put the other windswept hair. And this is when she's doing like spiral arrow and stuff like that. And we have the straight hair, which doesn't really match well with her yelling. I guess she could be like taunting her opponent. And there you have it, straight hair, yelling, wisp in the hair. So that looks really cool right there. I really like that. Uh, I'm going to put the pouty face because that is my favorite face. This is easily my favorite face uh, or head out of all of them. And we're going to put the windswept hair on for the rest of the review. And we're going to look at her other accessories. And this just looks absolutely amazing. Wow. Jaw-droppingly beautiful. Uh, so let's look here. You get extra hands. Uh, let's see if we can get her in her classic pose. I believe it's like this. This one goes like so. And she sticks it out. And I think this one goes like this. Something like that. And let's see if we can get the camera like that. And that looks really cool. Uh, we get extra, more extra hands like that. Something like this. And of course, we're going to look at all of these at the end of the video and i think actually no this one should be like this honestly i haven't played street fighter 5 in forever 
or it should be something like this. Something like that. And that looks really, really cute. So the reason why this box is so big is because of the fact that you get all the uh, the special move effects, which is really awesome. So the first thing that you get in the box, since it's the first one, is the cannon strike. And let's see, how do we put these on? Actually, I have no idea how to put these on. <laughs> let's see if there's a manual in the box. Everyone, please give me a second. So here we go. This is a the first effect. I know I was going to work on this one, but this is actually for the cannon drill. Uh, this is for the cannon, uh, cannon spike. Okay, so this is for cannon spike, not strike. And so this looks really cool. Look at that. Doesn't that look really awesome? Wow. Cannon strike. Oh, no, cannon spike. <laughs> that looks really cool. I really, really like that. Let's see if I can put this on a... On the other cami, no, you can't. Unfortunately, you cannot put this on the Essie's figure. Although that does look cool. Hope I was so sad when she didn't have something like that. Actually, I think she did. Sorry, correction. I think she did. So let's assemble this. This actually is for the cannon, cannon drill. Sorry, it's been a long time since I played Street Fighter. Like I said. So according to the manual here, which is not as detailed as I thought it would be. It looks like we have to get both legs into there so we can get it proper. And again, this is all kind of like kind of difficult to do, but we can get it done. So we have to get something like this. Let's see if we can get that in there. And it should be like this. Let's see. Everyone give me a second again. Okay, so this is how I got it so far. This looks absolutely beautiful. And then you take this side and it should just go in. So how I did this was you have to, this is two pieces. You basically snap them together. And then this should just fit right in to the sharp edge. But I'm having such a really hard time with it because it's just kind of difficult to do. Just require some work. Everyone, please be patient with this when you do get yours. Just know that this is not going to be the like as easy as it looks. So give me a second. Let me just fully assemble this, and then I'll get back. Okay. So there you have it. And there she is performing the cannon drill. And that looks wow. This is a gorgeous effect piece. This is almost like something that you see from a statue. This is just whoa really really cool i i have to appreciate uh really solid effect pieces here and that just looks absolutely so funny. while i was fitting for the cannon spike i noticed that it doubles as a cannon strike so that's really cool right there um i know i kind of messed up a little bit like saying that you couldn't do the cannon strike but as you can see, you could just flip this over and there you have it. That is the cannon strike. Okay, so let's come up with the conclusion of this. Um, let me start off with a negative right off the bat. These effect pieces are kind of difficult to really fit. Once you get used to them though, they're not that hard. But once you get it in there, you're pretty much going to get stuck with it. Another thing is something that I notice as I'm looking through this box is... I don't get a stand this time. I remember that Ryu get a, gets a stand. Whenever I bought him, uh, he came with a stand. But you're going to have to stick with your own stand so you can have something like that. Uh, this is a, I believe this is a Mafex stand. So unfortunately, you don't get a stand with it, uh, which is kind of sad. <laughs> but hey, no, no matter what, you do get quite a value. You get three extra little wispy things for her hair. You get three extra heads. You get these wonderful effect pieces. So there's really nothing to complain about, in my opinion. Let's go on to the positives. Wow, this figure is absolutely amazing. I cannot believe these effect pieces. They are so cool. And the fact that she looks ev amazing in the green, out green battle outfit really adds to it. And I absolutely love this figure. This is definitely worth the buy for me. Um, I know you can't really get her anymore, but you can get the blue version, the regular version, at 
www.dstartoys.com, your reliable source for awesome action figures. I believe she's up for pre-order right now, but she's coming in very soon as well as the guy. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. So, rate, comment, and subscribe right here, right there, right here. Yeah.